Hey everybody, Coach Springer, Spartan Performance Training, back with another car series. I want to talk to you something about that's very important to me, and I just, I think like, I brought the topic up because I look at so many different things, and I look at my own situations, I look at my basketball players, and just what I'm seeing, you know, in our society, period, and I think commitment needs to be addressed, and I think it's something that's really lacking in our society, it's very lacking in our society, um, we have a lot of half commitment from a lot of different people um, for different reasons. You know, I think there's two different kinds of people out there. There's the people who just don't commit to anything. Um, and because of that, just I don't know, they don't want to go above and beyond what's what's good enough, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I think we all know those people. But then you got people, which I think I fall in this category as well, is we want to do so much and accomplish so much that we end up not completely committing to just one thing, focusing on that and getting that done, and then maybe going to the next, you know, um, and I, I realized that because I actually sat down with a business coach today, helped me with my business, and, and I'm realizing is my commitment, you know, not that I'm lazy, not that I don't want to do the work, it's just I'm trying to do so much at one time that it's hard to commit to that, so I want to talk about that commitment, you know, and I think it was Pat Riley said, you know, commitment's either a thing where you're in or you're out, but there's no on the fence. You know, and, and that's the thing that's very, very true is that you've got to be committed like that. You know, you've got to put your full, full, full force in. And, you know, I, I, I look at, you know, basketball being a lot like life. And I kind of want to use that analogy of the basketball players. You know, their commitment level has to be huge for a couple of reasons. One, they all have goals they want to accomplish, you know, individually. You know, maybe they want to be the scoring leader. They want to be MVP, most improved, whatever it is, average 10 points a game. So their commitment level and their skill development and their personal work really is a lot. It's very demanding, and it's got to be 110% to reach the goals because it's such a competitive sport, and there's so much you're trying to do. Um, and then if you look on the other side of it, their lack of commitment or their full commitment can either make or break their team because obviously a team is individuals coming together collectively for a common goal, right? So you got three guys on the team who are fully committed, do what they got to do, their workouts, their practice, they work hard at practice, you know, and then you got the other six or how many ever are half committed. You know, how successful is that team going to be? And I think that really applies in the life period with your family, um, your, your, the staff you work with or whatever you do in your job, um, the, the commitment there. So you got to understand that commitment can affect not only you personally, but can affect the team collectively, okay? So what I really challenge you to do today is really go look at what you're involved in. Look at what you're involved in and are you committed? You know, and it doesn't mean you commit to every single thing. Like I said, that's, that's my downfall. Um, I try to do that and, and it really just kind of hurts me. But find that centralized focus. Find that one or two things that really make the most difference or what you're really doing in life and put a full commitment to it. Now, well, what can we do? Hold on, turn. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, find those two things, one or two things you're really committed to, you know, whether it's, it's a sport, it's a job, it's a hobby, it's, uh, I don't know, anything you're pursuing. Find that and then look at your daily actions. How many hours a day do you spend on that? What kind of actions do you take? Do you take actions of commitment or do you just take act, actions of participation? You've got to decide what's gonna, what it's going to be and, and, and you know, change where you need to change and then add to what you're doing well you know and you'll you'll find that just look at your daily schedule about 90 percent of us have blackberries or some kind of computerized machine or computer i should say that that tracks your life anyway schedules your life for you go back and look at the last week how many hours did you do this how many hours did you do that what could have you have done to show more commitment so that's the challenge for today look at your schedule look at what you're doing plan for the future like we already talked about and plan how much commitment you're going to put into your actions. All right? Talk to you tomorrow. Coach.